In this video lesson, we're going to get started with the change velocity options available in Pro Tools for MIDI editing. So I'm just going to close this window for now, but we will come back to it. And let's listen to the drum pattern that I've got queued up right here. Okay, so I've got kick, snare, and hi-hat. And my sound source for this will be the Boom drum computer, which is the virtual instrument or virtual drum computer that comes stock with Pro Tools. So let's scoot that out of the way. I'm going to tap on my MIDI keyboard here to illustrate what velocity is as far as how we, how we make it part of our performance when we're playing MIDI notes into our DAW. So I'm going to tap on my note C1, which is the note for the kick drum. That's the note right here. So if you see the note C, the number one right there, that is the one octave with respect to MIDI notes, and there's the note C. So that always that triggers my kick drum. So here we go. Let me tap on it. I'll do that again, and I'm going to start tapping very softly and gradually tap with more what we call in MIDI speak velocity. And with the harder velocity that I play the note, the louder it's going to get. Every note that's recorded in my DAW, every MIDI note, has two components, both the note name and the velocity with which I play the key. And the velocity range is the number 1, the softest, to 127, the loudest. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we would edit or look at the MIDI velocities for each note. And I can do it two ways. I can change from Clips to Velocity View, or I'll go to Notes View here, and then I'll hit the down arrow to open up my velocity lane right there. Now I'll be able to click on various notes and move the velocity stick with the diamond on top. So let me go ahead and click on a hi-hat note. And when I click on that note, it highlights or selects the velocity diamond associated with that note. And notice over here to the left, when I click on that note with my mouse and move it up or down, if I push up to the top, the loudest or the highest number is 127. Softest number is 1. So 1 to 127, and I can leave it set any place in between. Same thing with the kick drum here. Now here, I've got a kick drum and a hi-hat right in the same position. So if I go ahead and click on my hi-hat and move my velocity diamond down, you'll notice that the kick drum velocity is right behind that. So notes that are all in the same position have, will have the velocity sticks stacked on top of each other. So it gets a little bit tricky for editing, but you'll get used to it the more you do it. Okay? I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to hide the velocity line here and go back to Clips View. Let's, let me play this pattern again. <coughs> and now I'm going to change to a, the exact same pattern, but... I'd like you to listen carefully to hear if you hear any difference in what I'm going to call the dynamic articulation between the notes. In other words, do you hear more variation as far as soft and loud? So let me play this. <clears throat> listen to the kicks, especially the lead-in beats right here, right here. Listen to the variation in the hat. It's not so monotonish. Let me go back to pattern one. The hi hat almost sounds like a typewriter. Very stiff, very even. Nothing necessarily, nothing necessarily wrong with that. I'm just pointing that out. Now let me go back to velocity two. <clears throat> okay. Now that I've done that, let's go ahead and we've already seen. The velocities, let me go back to go to notes view there. I've already seen the velocities for pattern one. Now let me go to pattern two. And now you can see the dynamic range that I've got here in my velocities from a, on a note to note basis. And that's what makes it hopefully sound more, for lack of a better term, drummer like, as opposed to a real drummer is playing with more feel and more dynamic articulation as opposed to just a computer playing drums.
Okay. Let, let me <clears throat> let me go ahead here and let's even illustrate it further. Let me go to just the kicks only. And here is the original pattern. Let's listen to that. Notice how the leading beats here, these 16ths, are all the same velocity. So it's, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. I'm just trying to do some MIDI programming so it's more, again, drummer-like. Let me go to Kicks 2, the exact same drums, but now with this kind of lead-in beats. As I'm playing this, I can actually go ahead and... There we go. Okay, so I can adjust those as I'm playing to really make it as musically as I can possibly possibly make it. Let's go to the hats here. <clears throat> and here's the original. Here's the... Now if you listen to this one, I can really pull out the kick, snare, kick, snare. Kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. So you can see on beats one, two, three, and four where the kick and snare are, the drummer would automatically or probably be hitting the hi-hat a little bit harder anyway, so I'm trying to, trying to imitate that with my velocity that I've created here, my velocity pattern. All right? So that's the basics of velocity, is we can adjust them so that the... The sound of our, our drums or our bass or whatever it's going to be does not sound so monotonish. Uh, we have got more dynamic articulation from an, on a note-to-note -note basis. And also the number that we're working with, 1 to 127. 1 to 127. All right? We'll continue on, we'll continue on with more about velocities in the next video lesson.